Okay, make this little addition to it. If I pull this lever, you'll see that it gives a nice little delay to it, and then it switches the track. So, I'm going to move it in the correct direction first, which is hard enough as it is. Pull the lever and jump in and see how far we get up all the way. So that's a good nifty little tip from Alphalis, thanks to him. Um, what I said just earlier was the um, detector gives power to the adjacent uh, powered rail, but Actually, uh, it doesn't give. Well, it gives additional power to the next one if this would be a, another powered rail. However, when this cart leaves the detector pad, this whole track would lose power again. Um, so, what somebody figured out or was trying to figure out, and I don't know if, if he updated it yet, but he was getting close, and I forgot his name. I m didn't find it again on YouTube. It's a big place on YouTube. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but he was experimenting with supplying the... Um, well, two things. Actually gaining the momentum from just one little push to the next... Um, detector and then on to an infinite push. Uh, he noticed that for for the start you need uh, by comparison to have this really close together but uh, the further you spread out the more uh, the more distance you can have between those. I'm a bit scared of monsters, but okay. But uh, in in theory, it works quite nicely because, as you saw there, uh, each detector provides current to the, n the next little bit of track, and away you go. Sorry again that I forgot your name, but. Thanks for the inspiration. Um, another inspiration I found was props to, uh, I believe it's the WOX or the WOX, the, excuse me, the W0X. He had a, a video on YouTube. He showed the, uh, an empty card detector, which was pretty nifty. Um, Basically, he noticed that um, there's not only difference in the in the speed that an empty minecart gets versus a full minecart. He noticed you could actually use that beneficially. Um, you notice here, if I take this track, uh, it goes round and round. However, an empty minecart, as you just noticed, switches to this track. I'll explain how that's done. The minecart that's empty, um, do I'm going to pause it. Oh, doggy, save me, save me, doggy. Uh. Uh, that's pretty ironic. Oops, sorry. 
Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> the the empty card actually doesn't have uh, I'm not sure what it doesn't have, but the empty card doesn't fly that far out. The empty card basically goes out one block and drops down. So it goes on to this truck. When there's some somebody or something in the minecart, it will actually jump over to the second or third bit of track and ends up in this loop. Here, doggy doggy. Shit. So, once more. Ooh, an empty minecart. Plummets down onto this little track. An occupied cart jumps to the second or third bit of track and ends up on a separate track. Again, props to the box, the W0X. Just because it's so good and you can use it in your track system. The unpowered version. Just have a button next to your truck and push the button. And off you go. Um, <coughs> this um, this is about the maximum distance that your cart will travel if it's if it's really from an from from uh, the gentlest push as you can imagine, from unpowered to boosting. If I leave this one out, ugh, not in time. If I leave this one out, but with a different. We'll see it slows to crawl here. However, there is something in there that you can actually use in your track. Currently it goes round and round. But just pull the switch, change the track, Avoid the sheep, and away you go onto a different track. This is the last thing that I want to show you. I saw this in a YouTube clip by by Phonic UK. Uh, it was called Automated Delay, Delayed Minecraft Station in 1.5. Um, this is this is actually the m most likely way you'll use it in your Minecraft minecart system. What what you have here is a um, is a little piece of unpowered track. And um, due to the fact that it's raining, it doesn't work, apparently. I had this time, so it would work. Hmm. Oh, well. Wow. Uh, 
I'll just add another one of those pretty things. It will work. Basically, um, the minecart arrives at your station. It pops the trigger of the detector by going over it. The detector activates this little bit of circuit. Actually, it's just the delay until the signal comes to the unpowered reel. The reel is powered. It stops working as a brake, but it's that boosts the bit of cart. And the way it goes onto your circuit. Well, uh, train circuit. Train track. There you go. Uh, it's running very late, so I excuse my English. I'm not native English anyway, so I um, hope you still learned something despite um, me giving you all sorts of complex schematics and um, ideas. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.